And I want to begin first with Vishnu Shankar Jain. Vishnu Shankar Jain, you are now a very popular figure across the length and breadth of this country because you stand at the apex of the movement in court so that Hindus can reclaim their religious rights. But you are accused of being a Hindu fundamentalist because you have chosen to challenge the occupation of certain Hindu religious sites. How do you react to this charge that is made against you? See, Rahul, I would uh, like to say that, first of all, Ram Mandir is not the culmination, it's just the beginning. And uh, to, your an to your question, I would answer by saying that uh, wherever we are finding facts and figures, wherever we are finding data, wherever we are finding good, strong research, there we are filing cases. Uh, if, you will, if you would have analyzed my entire fight, my fight is for those places where we are getting proofs that a temple has been demolished and a mosque has been constructed. For example, in Gyan Vyapi in 1670, Aurangzeb's Farman is there, where Aurangzeb has himself said that, yes, I have demolished the temple. His orders are there documented in Majrasi -e Alamgiri. In Krishna Janmumi case, his documents, his Farman's, his orders are documented in Majrasi -e Alamgiri, which has been translated by Jaduna Sarkar at page 95 and 96. So it is not about uh, going one by... We are going very clinically, very professionally, one by one, for each and every place of worship, which is very, very significant to us, which is very, very important to us which has a lot of shastrik mahatva and meaning and therefore after gathering all the data and evidences and research we are filing these cases in the courts of law yes of course many people won't be satisfied because they weren't satisfied after even the supreme court in all its wisdom unanimously pronounced that the ram janam bhumi must be handed to the hindu side and that a temple must be built. It even set aside five acres for Muslims to construct a grand mosque within Ayodhya. But Vishnu Shankar Jain, many people still pick holes. Now, they say that you cannot use the Ayodhya precedent to fight for Kashi and Mathura. How do you respond to them? See, very, very important and I would uh, very humbly disagree. Ayodhya is a precedent. The judgment delivered by Supreme Court 5 Judges Bench 2021 SCC page 1 is a precedent for all of us. And why it is a precedent, let me tell you and give some points, Rahul. In the judgment passed by the Supreme Court in Ram Mandir case, the Supreme Court has held that Hindu deity is a juristic entity. It has a right to sue and can be sued. And it has also held that even after demolition of an idol, the pious purpose to make that idol, uh, make that idol does not extinguish. And that pious purpose, जो एक पवित्र संकल्प होता है मंदिर बनाने का मूर्ति बनाने का उसकी लीगल वैल्यू होती है इट हैज अ लीगल सैंक्टिटी एंड अ लीगल वैल्यू दिस इज द जजमेंट ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज आल्सो सेड दैट फॉर 325 इयर्स द द यूपी सुन्नी सेंट्रल वॉक बोर्ड हैड नो पोजीशन नो डॉक्यूमेंट्स टू शो एनी प्रूफ ऑफ पोजीशन ओवर द सो कॉल्ड बाबरी मॉस्क द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज आल्सो हेल्ड दैट देयर इज नो थ्योरी ऑफ वर्क बाय यूजर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज आल्सो हेल्ड इन दिस केस दैट व्हाट UP Sunni Central Web Board asked that uh, they are the uh, they have perfected their title by adverse possession was also rejected by the Supreme Court and law of adverse possession was laid down by the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has also appreciated the report of Archaeological Survey of India and this case is a precedent. If you talk about Archaeological Survey of India, it is a precedent. If you talk about appreciation of evidence, so far as traveler accounts are concerned, Traveller accounts are concerned, it's a precedent by virtue of section 57 of Indian evidences, which has been appreciated by the Supreme Court. If you will go through the historical and gazetteers, the Supreme Court has gone into history and it is a precedent. And let me tell you, Rahul, very, very, uh, uh, I can say very strongly on your channel, I want to say that in Jerusalem, the three Abrahamic religions are fighting for 35 acres of land. No country in this entire world or no court in, in this entire world has been able to solve that dispute. It is the power of the Indian judiciary that the Indian judiciary had the capability to solve such kind of civilizational battles. So definitely the judgment of the Supreme Court is a, is a precedent for such kind of litigations and for many more such kind of litigations which are in the pipeline. Okay. So you are following what you are saying is a precedent. You are not taking the law into your own hands. You are not trying to use violence or intimidation outside of the legal process. 
to stymie anybody you are doing it by the book okay let let's let's bring in uh, mr tawseef uh, ahmed khan also uh, you're a lawyer also mr tawseef khan but why why am i constantly hearing from those who have a problem perhaps with the politics of a particular dispensation why are they constantly suggesting that the courts are playing a partisan role and why are motives being ascribed to the courts it's a very transparent process the arguments took place in open court before many many thousands hundreds and thousands of people they took place almost on a daily basis the evidence is there for anyone to peruse the judgments are there for anyone to peruse so why why const yes exactly so why constantly ascribe motives to the court and undermine the majesty of the court and alienate muslims and others rahul um for about 30 seconds i had lost the connection but uh, for the past 10 20 seconds i heard what you were saying so i will answer that uh, you see uh, not very long ago for about couple of years ago four or five years ago the chief justice of india along with other senior judges had called a press conference and told the people of india that all is not well in the highest court of the country so that is that is from the judiciary only that they had alerted the people of india that something is wrong in the judiciary and that was 5 years ago and now just recently 2 3 days ago one of the supreme court judge justice uh, abhay s oka he also said during the lecture that the faith of the common man in the judiciary has eroded considerably we will have to see where we have gone wrong so you know i, I don't know if if you are if you are uh talking about uh, uh something wrong in the judiciary and where is that coming from as if there is some kind of uh, uh you know conspiracy theory behind it then maybe you are pointing to the judges because the judges themselves are saying it acknowledging it and it has happened time and again so i, I don't see really uh you know uh, anyone uh, even even in your news channel if someone tries to play victim and say oh why attack judiciary why blame judiciary you see even judiciary is fallible hmm, but the the supreme court is the highest order of the supreme court is binding on everyone but they cannot no one can say that ju- judiciary cannot err now if we are talking about the judgment of the uh, judgment delivered by the court in the babri masjid case in the ram janambhumi land dispute so the act of demolition the mosque was held to be criminal and the supreme court said that you know um, there is there is no proof that the uh, structure found beneath the uh, uh, mosque it was undoubtedly an old structure uh, but it was not a temple there is no proof about that so that's all that the people is concerned no one is opposing the construction of a ram temple if we, uh, people uh, have never even in the ayodhya uh, the, the local community are participating in the event they have not uh, uh, opposed the construction of a ram, ram temple per se okay. but this whole case was always why demonize this community why put a put a blame game why tell lies that there was a temple beneath okay. the let me get and why this to respond to he's raising That's his hand and and mr ayer oh, comes in yes, also yes i said so yes what vishnu jain yes make your point please vishnu jain i wanted to i just wanted to say rahul your question was that why you are against the system of indian judiciary and my friend went to answer something else the point is this rahul why and I, let me tell you why they are against the indian judiciary because the point is that we are proving each and every fact before the court of law and they know the against? case of kashi and mathura and many more who is against the judiciary they they will be exposed before the court because let me tell you now no no if you you, you must uh, read the statement of mr yasin who is the secretary of anjuman intizamia he said hame court pe vishwas nahi hai aur main batana chahta hu rahul when the judgment of the right. was passed appointing yasin advocate commissioner right. who said who said no who said that uh, sab log aa jao road pe aur sadkon mein 50 60000 muslim aa gaye the who went against the order of the court and chose the path of violence 
It was the Anjuman Intezamiya who chose the path of violence and they came and demonstrated against the court order. They stopped the advocate commissioner from entering into Gyan Vapi Mosque. Sir, please correct your facts. So it is not that when we are following everything by book, then you have to also follow the book and then you cannot say that no, we will not follow the book. In Krishna Janmumi case, we got a survey order from the Honorable Ilabad High Court and Rahul, let me tell you, the Honorable Supreme Court has stayed the order of the Ilabad High Court and we are patiently waiting for our turn on 29 January to get the stay order vacated. So everything we are following for in Ram Mandir case, okay. for 69 years Rahul, we have waited for justice. So it's not that we have been very patient with the Honorable Court and we have always followed law by its book. Okay.